Here we are along Route 97, just east of Berryville, New York, in the town of Pond Eddy. And just like the sign says, we're here at the historic site of the Corwin Farm, alongside the D&H Canal. Not sure why these signs are just sitting here, but then it's during COVID, perhaps it didn't say it's closed. I know this county is closed, the county parks, but this park is a National Park Service park. We're looking down, I'm up on a higher point above the canal. Uh, the Corwin Barn right there, uh, what you're seeing down there, past this trailer, is the uh, berm side stonework, the towing path now used as a access road, uh, the dry prism. And we come up on a building that belonged to the Corwin family, farmers. And the Corwin family had a store, a canal side store. Uh, as I've been doing these videos, uh, I've been astounded to see how many locks had groceries right next door. But, but you know, with over a thousand boats plying it at, at uh, its heyday, I suppose it's not surprising. It's a beautiful little house. I've had the opportunity to be on the inside. It's being managed by the National Park Service. And here we'll see. Go down here. There was some thought that this might have been a lock house. Lock 67 was over in the private campground next door and it's completely obliterated as was the lock house, and we could verify that when we got possession of these 1854 canal era maps. But here we've got the basement level store that would have serviced the canalers. And as I say, sometime I'll get a number, but an awful lot of the locks had grocery stores right next to them. A lot of people to feed. It's nice that uh, at least some of these sites still are maintained. As, as you see, if you've watched this Where's Our Historian video, we're seeing uh, locks and structures in a wide, wide range of, uh, of states of preservation, if you will. Uh, and it's the good people like yourselves who give to organizations like mine, as well as pay your taxes, because of course the National Park Service does a wonderful job. My map tells me that there was a bridge down this way. It, I don't see anything that I can definitively say, although I suppose as we come here, Ooh, oh, I've got to, I can make it move in and out, but I have to personally move it with my hand. You'd think by now I'd get better. It's possible that that lump right there, that, that where the tree, the dead tree is and stuff, supported a bridge at one point. That's the kind of rise it would be that have to be tall enough to clear. If that's the case, there's no sign of the other abutment on the towpath side. This isn't a, a big site. There's the Delaware River. You might have noticed there's a nice picnic area up uh, outside the Corwin Farm building. And what we have, we might as well see what there is to see. Yeah, it may even be that they had a bridge here because this hill was like this. And it may be, wait a minute, wait a minute. This stonework right here, well, no, that's only... That could just be the remnant of the berm side stonework. Let's see if I can, there you go. You can see that now, right there. Uh, it, you know, I wonder if this isn't the bridge abutment. It, it looks to be, you can see it starts to raise up here. I'm at the level. It looks like maybe it just lost its top layer of stone. On the other hand, of course, it's broader than the average bridge abutment. Mysteries abound.